Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're going to continue the uh, Louisa Heinzel method of creating a journal. Um, what I did is I did some stitching on one of the pages in each signature, right? And then we created these pockets uh, so that I could sew them in. But I also did some more sewing off camera. Um, I did one page in each signature. Uh, for some of them, I have made them a bit more grungy because my sewing machine ate one of the papers. So I thought it would tie in a bit more that way if I do that. Yeah, so, so for today, I want to make more storage thingies. So I'm going to put this away because we won't need it today. And I just want to play with these things. And I also want to play with some vellum. So I printed two pieces of vellum. And I have these, if you remember these. And I have this. Ooh. Oh, Shaysa. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> this was glued shut. Uh, we have this vintage envelope. And then we have two more envelopes in different sizes. And we also have this thing. So I thought we were going to play with these things today. Uh, because that's what I feel like. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to add vellum to this one. Because then we lose... Uh, a lot of the brown I think we could add vellum here but then we will have to open this I'm not sure if I want to do that I don't want to ruin this particular envelope I don't think we're going to add vellum to all of the things just a few so this one will just stay as it is because I don't want to risk ruining this beautiful as you can, I don't know if you can see it, but this is actually not glued entirely and it's very thin, the brown stuff. So I just want to keep it like it is. Uh, we will decorate it, of course, on the front. Mm. Or on this side, maybe, so that it can open. But this, we're going to use this later because I want to use the vellum. I was thinking maybe we can cut this out and replace it with vellum. That was the idea of this. And we need to grunge this up because as you can remember, I told you guys that I forgot to... This is the other side. I forgot to do the uh, coffee and rust water on this part. But we can probably do something with some oxides or something. Um, then for this one, I thought we could do, also do a vellum window. And I also want to add some vellum to this and to this, I think. Yeah. Maybe we can add two pieces of vellum to this. Sew it in the middle. Then we have two pockets. Oh, that's a good idea. I want to start with this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're going to start with that one. And then we can use some of these cards to go in that might fit. I might have to um, trim them down a bit. I will have to trim this off, I think. And I need to trim off the sides. Okay, I do need one signature to measure now. Oh. Okay, let's see. Because, yeah, it is too long. To fit an entire page. I thought we could use it on the ugly page. The page that I don't like anymore. Where was it? Let me search for it. There's one page that I... Yeah, this one. I just don't like this one. I don't know why it just doesn't fit the entire journal. I like this, but I don't like the orange one. So I thought this could be... Perfect, because now I don't mind it. Uh, so yeah, we're going to put it on this page. I am going to cut off some of the sides. Let's start with that. Mm. 
yeah we need to cut off a bit of the sides as well i'm going to um try to remove those rounded corners because i don't really like the rounded corners so yes that should fit but i also want to keep um this so we need to actually make it a tiny bit shorter mm. Yeah, that's perfect, actually. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. And then I'm going to... Uh, let's see. Now we can put this away. We will, however... Yeah, I will wait. I will look for that later. Uh, if we are going to cut a frame out of these and we're then going to put vellum and then we will of course put the journal cards in but as soon as you take them out you will still see the ugly page right but we will figure something out for that later where is my ruler i have a ruler and now i oh here it is okay so i am going to use my craft knife where is my pencil? Oh, here it is. Okay. I am going to... Um, I think I want to cut here. And here. Right. I'm back. And of course, I messed up. <laughs> I cut too far. Uh, but you don't really see it, so it's fine. I used some washi tape to uh, cover that up. I'm going to use some double-sided tape i think no not double-sided tape i'll just use a tiny bit of glue because I'm, i want to do some sewing on them hmm. okay not using too much because I don't want to have it seep through there are some kids playing outside and next door I'm not sure if you can hear them but yeah <gasps> oh they're not the same Oh no, I cut off two. Yeah, they're not the same now anymore. Oh Lord, that's an issue. Do okay, you... I'm back. It does fit now as well. And now it's good. There's the same size on all of the edges, two lines here and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So now it is good. And I will have to do some inking on it first before I start gluing down the vellum. I'm not sure if it will stain the vellum if I don't do that. Uh, I want scorched timber. Uh, do I want rusty hinge or do I want vintage? I think I want to go for vintage photo. And I think that's it. Yeah, I think that is it. Do I want to add some spritz? I think I want to add some vintage photo spritz as well. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, yeah, I'm going to put some on the glass mat. Okay, and then I'm going to add a bit of water. I'm also going to add a bit of water to this. And then I'm just going to place it in there. And make right, it. Right, I'm back. And I also sewed in the vellum, and I really like it. And if I put it on here, 
I don't mind the orange showing through. So this is fine, actually. We will leave it like this. Oh, I did forget to sew in the middle. Yeah, I will have to do that as well. So here, so that it really is two pockets. Um, because, yeah, I like the stitched look. But we could also just glue it. Because otherwise it might be too much stitching. Yeah, I guess we will just glue it here. I think that's better. Um, hmm. We could do a running stitch, maybe. Uh, I will have to think about it. But I do want to roughen up the edges a bit. Because it's too neat for my taste. So I'm going to... Take my scissors and roughen it a bit. You could also use a, um, I don't know how to call these. You could also use this thingy. But I like to use my scissors. do some sanding as well but I need to do that on a piece of paper otherwise I will get a lot of scratches on my mat a bit more grungy um, yeah I like that uh, okay let me see on this one I want to create a window um, okay, yeah so on this one I want to create a window This one I think I want to keep like this. Um, oh yeah, and this one has a window and we need to cut this out. I need to grunge this up as well. Yeah, okay, let's start with that. And a little bit of vintage photo again. Uh, and some scorched timber and some water right so i finished this one as well i did some messy stitching around them this one is the same as i did the other pockets to tie them in together and these two have the same sort of stitching as well I don't think I can roughen up this one because I glued the vellum all over the thing. So I can try to use... Ah, oh, yeah, it does work a bit. Maybe I can use my scissors as well. No, that doesn't work. Okay, so I'm going to use this one carefully to not miss up the stitching because you can actually ruin your stitching with this. Okay, and then I don't think I did inking on the other one, did I? Oh no, I did the sanding on the other one. Okay, but I want to do some inking on these because I don't think they're grungy enough. one. OK, 
to. Now, I am thinking, I cannot do a notch on this one because of the sewing. I could do a notch here. But I don't think I want to do that. No, I think I'll just do it like this. Maybe I can add some stamping to them. I want to decorate these a bit further. I made four so that I can do one in each signature because, yeah, I like to repeat my things. Um, what I do realize is that I only have three envelopes. Yeah, so I might have to make one more envelope because I want to add those as well but yeah i'll do that in another session or maybe i don't know yet uh but let's just work on these first i'm going to grab some things that i want to use to decorate these and then i'll be back okay i want to add some texture paste i think i'm going for the white and then I want to do some embossing on them again. I think I want to add scorch timber. Maybe two of them can have these two and two of them can have these two. Um, let's see. I think I want to add these two or do no i think i want the round one and the uh, uh i don't know <laughs> diamonds there you go okay so let's see um let's see let's see I think we can stencil over the vellum because we already knew that it doesn't um, melt. So I'm just going over the vellum as well. I want to have it go over the edge yeah I like this do I want to add a bit more on this side as well I think I do but I want to get rid of those threads first oh Okay, um, let's see, and then maybe do a bit less. Carefully, okay. Yes, this looks good. All right, that's this one. Then I think I want to add this to this one as well. Okay, let's grab some more texture paste. Mm. I think I want to add it to this side. Just a bit more over here. Yes, I like that. Okay. Then I want to use the other one on the other two.
and then on this one and this one goes like this um, and I'm trying not to think about it too much and just go for it I think that's enough for this one okay that's it then i want to add some embossing powder to them um, and then i need to let them dry okay i need a piece of paper underneath Let's see, for this one, I want a bit of the gray. Not too much. And also a bit of the blue. I think I'm gonna sprinkle it actually. Because I want that gradient again. Okay. That's one, and then I want it on this one as well. Okay, that's those two done. And then I want to do the others with the scorched thimmer and antique linen. I don't like how these close. They close a bit weird. <laughs> okay. And then the last one. Okay, that's all of them. And now I'm going to put them somewhere so that they can dry. Because if I emboss them now, they will uh, bubble 
and I don't want that in this case. So I'm going to have them let them dry and I'm also going to clean my stencils before it sticks to them forever. Right, and while the uh, texture paste is drying, I want to work a bit on these envelopes. Now I need four and I only made three. So I took another one of these vintage ones and I'm going to just use some sprays, but I don't want it to be too dark because these are also not too dark. So I think I'm going to use some frayed burlap and some vintage photo. Oh, that's here. So I'm just going to, oh, this is a bit of a different color. Well, it's fine. It is fine. Okay. Add some water. Add some water to this as well. Oh, wait, we don't need to do this side actually because, oh yeah, we do. We do need to do this flap and then we need to do the other side. going to dry this side all right and then I want to do this but I don't want it on this, so I'm just going to put something in there to protect it a bit. Yeah, that will work. Okay. I think that looks good. Now I don't mind that this one looks a bit different than the others to be honest. It is fine. It's a bit darker and it's a bit less of a coffee stain, I guess. We could add some spattering in the frayed burlap. Maybe. I want a bit bigger spatters, to be honest, because they're a bit too small. Maybe it will work better with a brush. That's the case. Okay. Okay, and then I think I want to add some spatter to the other ones as well with the frayed burlap because otherwise it doesn't tie in with each other anymore. Oh, I'm doing it on the backs. Ugh. I don't need to add it on the backs because I want to do it. You need to open like this and I'm going to glue them down. So I only need to add spatters to this side <laughs> I already looked for how I think I want to attach these okay oh 
All right, I'm back. Um, the spitters are dry. I think because these are lined on the inside, I think I want to line these too. But then I'm using some printables. Um, just going to see which one I want to use because I have a lot left over. Oh, not these ones. Okay. Let me see. Maybe with this. I like that text. And then one of these. Okay. Let's see. Not really good at that lining stuff. <laughs> no, this one has a fold. And this one too. Because I wanted to do more signatures. But then I thought it would be too big of a project. So I think I need another one. Mm. Yeah. Because I don't want to have that fold in this thing. So I'm going to put it here. And I want a slight border. I think this will be okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay like that okay and then we're going to do the same for this one okay like this i guess okay and then we're going to carefully try to cut it out. I'm rubbish at cutting, so we will see. It will probably <laughs> not be good. I do love these new scissors, by the way. Having a larger blade. Um, are these called blades? I'm not sure. But having a larger surface to cut is easier. I do notice that. Okay, well, let's see. Do they fit? Oh my god, they do. However... This is way too big, so we need to cut some off. Or we cut some off of the bottom. And then it will fit in deeper. Yes, that works. And now I do want to just, because this looks pretty good. Oh, maybe I need to glue it in first and then we can alter the top a bit yeah so i think i am going to do it like that where yeah just like that is fine i think i need to glue it down uh just gluing the top will be fine i think probably do some sewing as well um, let's erase those pencil marks 
Okay. Now, let's see. How about this one? I think we will have the same issue. Yeah, we will have that. And it doesn't fit. So I think we need to cut off a bit. And then we will also... Oh, that's not straight at all. <laughs> okay. Will this fit now? It does. It's still a bit too big. Um, so how about we take off a little bit more. Doesn't need to be perfect, but... Okay, now this one is a bit too deep, but that is fine. Doesn't really matter. We can just glue it like this now i do see i need to cut off a bit more here and a bit more there i am actually going to draw that a bit okay like that Well, that is good enough for me. We can trim this a bit as well. Okay, so I am going to do the same thing. I'm going to glue this. We could do the opposite here, like add uh, these, but then here. Would that look good? Let's just try it. How do I do that though? I think like this and then try to follow that line. I'm not sure. <laughs> this might just be stupid. It's just an idea. I'm not sure if it will work. This is not angled enough. Okay, now it is angled enough. And this one isn't angled enough now. Do I like that? Hmm, I'm not sure because when you close the envelope, we don't have that border anymore. Hmm, I think I'll just leave it. I'll leave it. We're not going to do that. I am going to keep these scraps down. All right. Um, I do want to trim the top here a bit. Okay. 
Okay, that looks a bit better. Okay, just a tiny bit. And then here, yeah, I guess this one is fine. Okay. Right. Now, oh, I could have added magnets. Oh, that's too late now. Oh, yeah, that's too late now to keep them close, you know. We could also put something here to... How do we... Oh, yeah, because this one is as well opening a lot. Hmm, I'll have to think about that. About a closure. Uh, but yeah, I like this. I don't like the... Uh, yeah, I don't like the gummed edges, but yeah, there's really nothing I can do about that. I am going to do some inking. And I want to do some stitching as well. I think I want to do some inking in here as well, carefully. And I think I need to, yeah, I need to glue the shot better, but I will do that after the inking. Okay. So that's it. These are now dry and I have embossed them. They are a bit buckled, so I think I will leave them under a heavy book overnight to see if it will straighten a bit. And the envelopes are now all sewn. I really like how it looks, the sewing. And for these ones, I did the zigzag stitch and I went over it a few times as well. And here too. I don't know if you can see that, uh, but in real life you can. Um, so yeah, I will not be decorating anymore because the video is already an hour long. So we will do that at another time. I hope you enjoyed this video because it might be a bit boring because they are not decorated. But yeah, <laughs> I don't want this video to be too long. So I really don't have a choice. And it's mainly because I was too impatient to wait for these to dry and then continue the video and decorate these and just finish this but yeah i was in the flow and i had an idea so i just wanted to go for it and just make these uh, so i hope you don't mind uh, i want to thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed it and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel i would like to ask you to consider to do so because it helps the channel grow don't forget to hit the like button as well and leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Um, so yeah, have a nice day wherever you are and I will see you in the next part. Bye!